Hi guys, day six, welcome to class again. Um, some reminders, remember when you go into Google Classroom, as always, you can find helpful things like our calendar of what's going on. You can find the Zoom Room link. You can find that late work form for when you turn in late work and any of the recorded lessons. I can't stress enough if you get confused in class or if you're confused at home trying to figure out what assignments to turn in, the recorded lessons are a go-to um, to help you out. It's why I record them. Um, and it doesn't seem like enough people are taking advantage of them. Looking at our agenda this week, remember yesterday about me was due. Today, the keyboard shortcut is due. A lot of you turn it in. Um, again, I'm stressing how important it is to be careful when you're uploading screenshots that you're picking the right one. That's why we talked about naming them. Um, so when you save a screenshot, actually naming it in your folder. So we talked about using the keyboard shortcut, Control J, to open up your downloads folder and going and naming the download. So instead of naming this Jamestown MP4, um, I can click show in folder and I can say, I, oh, I can show it in my folder. Sorry. I can right click on it and I can say rename and I can say question one and know that that's what I want to upload for question one. Um, some of you have not done that and therefore have uploaded the wrong images. Going forward, that's super important that you name them um, so that you upload the right one each time. Um, today, you will be having a reading on post-it notes. There's a quiz in the folder that is due tomorrow on the asynchronous day, so make sure it gets in. And we are learning how to mark up a Google slide. So super easy activity, but showing you one way that you can write on somebody's Google slide to show them that you're doing work. So let us head into Syllogy, clicking on our tile, going to our week two folder. Remember, you can always, when you click on an item over in your calendar, you can always see what lesson it's from when you click on it. So if I click on the keyboard shortcuts quiz, just as a reminder, up here at the top in the navigation, you can see that that happened on day five. So if you need to make something up, watching the lesson from what it came from is super important. So it always shows you what day it came from. Um, so when you go to make up work, it's super important that you look at what day did that item occur on and can I go watch the lesson to help me with that? So for instance, if I didn't do the day three activities, if I click on in my calendar, let's do it that way. If I have it over here and it says overdue or I'm trying to find out what I'm looking for in my grade book or calendar, I can click on it and let's say, for instance, I did not do the tutorials completion check. I click on it, I say view the item, and then I can see that that occurred on day one of STEAM class in week one. Um, and then I can go find that lesson in the recordings, listen to it, and then see how to complete that activity. That's the smartest way to do makeup work. If you're just trying to do makeup work on your own um, without any instruction, it becomes super frustrating. Um, but if you're actually listening to the lessons and going back in time, um, then things become easier because you can watch me click through the steps that you need to do. Just a word to the voice. So we're in week two. We're now on day six. You can see we have these items in the folder, post-its, post-its reading check, spot the difference, and attendance. So I'm going to go ahead and edit and put a one in front. That's the first one. Um, so you should read this first, take the quiz, then we'll talk about, about the difference. So this one's really quick. You just click on it. When you have a PDF 
in Schoology, you have a couple options. You can view it in Schoology and you can zoom in. Remember, you have zooming features, okay? Um, but if you don't like it in Schoology, and what I suggest, highly suggest, is two things. You can either, what I would do first, is either go up to this tab at the top of your screen, right click it, and choose duplicate. Which means there's not a shortcut. Um, and that opens two tabs of Schoology so that I could have the reading open and I could have the quiz open. Um, it looked like yesterday some of you took the quiz without using the Google Slideshow um, based on scores um, and some of the things you were answering. Um, it was open note. Everything's open note here in virtual schools. So getting a four out of 20 because you didn't answer the multiple choice right um, seems a little um, suspect or sus, as we say. Um, the other choice is to download it and view it in a separate page by clicking on the view button. So you can also click on view, which will open it in another tab as well. Um, so two options, either duplicating the tab or clicking view to open it as a large PDF. And then you can go ahead and read it. Um, you're just reading the section on post-it notes and then you're taking the post-it note reading quiz, which is the second item in the folder, okay? The next thing on your list of things to do is the spot the different markup practice. Um, and if we look at this document, yours will look a little different because you'll be in a student view and you'll have to click the edit button. You'll click edit and you will come and read the instructions. It says we are practicing marking a document in Google Sites. One way to edit is to use the scribble tool um, and you can zoom in to, to see the differences. And we have requirements. So you get five points for using the scribble tool and instead of using the shape, you have five points for making it size eight border. You have five points making your circles red and you get five points for making nine circles on the image. So coming over to the image, you look at it, you take your scribble tool, you find something that's different. So for instance, I said this item right here, his foot is different on this one. We're always circling on the right hand side. So I take my scribble tool and I circle his foot. In order to color it, I double click on it till I get the options up top. So I have to click on my little circle that I made and that should bring up the border and the color. So I'm gonna change it to size eight on the border, size eight so Miss Watts can see them. And the color she said is red, so I change it to red. So looking at that again, once I make the circle, so I'm gonna take my scribble tool right here from the lines I'm gonna scribble the shape, this almost circle, okay, around the difference. I am gonna highlight it by clicking on it so that the little blue squares appear. I'm gonna change the weight right here to size eight, and I'm gonna change it to red. I'm gonna do that for the nine other differences on the photo, and then I'm gonna click in Schoology. You should have a submit button. I click submit so Miss Watts has the image. If you have any questions, feel free to email or meet up with me in a Zoom. This activity is due tomorrow, Wednesday, the asynchronous day. And make sure on Wednesday you look also for the next activity in folder seven. Have a wonderful day. And let's see where Miss Watts is today on day six. Where did Miss Watts go? She is at Tractor Supply Co. So spelled just like that three words, Tractor Supply Co. Okay. Uh, I would definitely write it down, make sure I spell it correctly if I want to earn that point. And again, remember attendance is based on submission. Um, so whether right or wrong, you do get credit for being in class as long as you submit something each day. 
but the point is only earned if you answer the question correctly. Thank you and have a great night.